Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to RC Overload, and today, I got something really cool to show you. So, yeah, that's something pretty cool. <laughs> so as some of you guys know, um, on the Axel SCX-10 Jeep that I've got here, uh, I did some extreme crawling the other week, and I ended up breaking a set of RC four-wheel drive Tough Armor rock rails. Unfortunately, they snapped right off of the dang bracket. What do you know? Well, that's not good for me. I need something, and I want something, that is a lot stronger and will hold up to the punishment that I put this Jeep through. So I've gotten in contact with a guy who makes a set of custom rock rails. He makes them all by hand, they're powder coated, and they're probably from what I've seen the most durable set of rock rails I've ever come across. I'd like you guys to meet Warrior Armor. He builds and makes custom rock rails, specifically designed for the Jeep Wrangler. The Axel SCX-10 Jeep Wrangler, I should say. Now, from my understanding, he does do other models, um, but specifically today we're talking about the Jeep. As you guys can see, it's got three bars for added support into the bracket. It is built almost pretty much the exact same as the RC four-wheel drive rock rails, except the design is a little bit different here on the ends, as you guys can see. On this setup, he has it curved. So when you come up to an object, it actually comes up and slides over it. it makes things a lot easier, and you're less likely to break something off. Whereas before, with the RC four-wheel drive rock rails, you had these little metal nubs here on the end that literally would just grab. Except in my case, that's not what broke it. Something got jammed up in the middle here. Oh, sorry. Something got jammed up in the middle here and just popped it right off. So, I got into contact with Warrior Armor and he sent me over a couple pictures of the rock rails and I practically fell in love with them. Now as you guys can see real quick here, I want to show you, the rock rails are tapered. They are shorter at this end than on this end. I know it's a little difficult to see, but it's actually designed to fit the contour of the body because in the front of the body it is actually more narrow than it is in the back. So this is actually a flush setup. I have one side already done, so you guys can see. And it goes right up against the body here. And it mounts in the same spot on the chassis as the RC four-wheel drive. Now, what's really cool about these, not only the toughness about them, and I'm going to show you guys something about it here in a minute, but the fact that you can get it in a ton of different colors. Take a look at what I mean. There is a variety of colors here that you can get these all powder coated in. Now, there's simple colors and then there's a little more advanced colors. Those advanced colors do cost a couple dollars more, but trust me, you can get it custom to the paint job that you have on your body, or if you're just looking for something crazy, you can certainly do that. Now, he also had sent me a video, his stress test video, and I want to show you guys that right now. It'll actually show you guys exactly how strong these rock rails really are. Here, take a look.
So there you guys go. I don't think I'm going to break these, but like what I usually want to do is I have to test everything out. I like to do that. I want to know how well the product is that I'm putting on the vehicle that I'm putting it on. So we're going to go back out to that same location that I broke the rock rails before and we're going to test out these rock rails and actually see how well they hold up and how well they perform. Now I'm actually expecting a huge performance increase out of it in the protection of the vehicle and the maneuverability of it. Because if you look at the old rock rails, if you look at them dead on, they have a point outwards. Whereas the new ones come straight up and down. I'm trying to get that little. This actually should allow me some more clearance when I'm going through the obstacles. So it's less likely to actually hit on it. Sure, you know, it pushes it away versus being straight up and down and potentially rubbing up against the mirror or whatnot. But when you're in those low rocks and they, you got stuff that's all low end, this will still add quite a bit of protection to the vehicle. So, we're definitely going to have to bring this out and we're definitely going to have to test it back out in that same location. So, I've got some stickers from Warrior Armor that I'm going to have to put on this Jeep. Some pretty cool stickers, if you guys can see it. So, that's it for today. I'm looking forward to the actual test on this. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy. Because these are some of the coolest rock rails. Hand-built rock rails that I have ever seen. Alright, well, i got to put the other side on now. And uh, that's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. I will have information on how to get a hold of Warrior Auto Armor excuse me, down in the description box. Be sure to send him a message and get a quote for your own today. Trust me, I think you're going to be impressed with it because I'm already impressed with these and I haven't even tested them out. So, thanks for watching, you guys. That's it, and I'll see you next time.